Hi. mid July. Here with the family. Gonna try setting up our first camera on this little water hole. Little water hole. So we got the camera set up right here. And we'll see if anything comes in to this pretty little spot besides cows. So, I got to one of the other spots that I'm wanting to put my cameras at. It started to rain a little bit. It got windy, so I decided to just run up real quick myself so that I could just run up the trail, put these other cameras up, and family could just hang out in the truck. So now I'm just headed up there, moving pretty quick, getting rained on a little bit, so I'm trying to hurry. So I'm here, I'm gonna set up the second trail camera right on this little trail. Now I know that the deer come through here, but I also know that a lot of people use it. So I'm really hoping that the camera doesn't get stolen because I'm really excited about my new one that I just got. So I came across this company called Foxelli. They have these cool little trail cameras and let me show you why I'm excited about it. Because this one has a screen inside. So you can see it in real time, what the camera looks like. But if there's any pictures on here, you can also come and replay them right on here. So I'm excited about that. Hope this new camera works out well and that no one steals it. There it is. Just off the trail. Got it set up here. Kind of on this trail. An old burn area. Don't have a way to lock this one to the tree. So I'm really hoping this one doesn't get stolen. Hopefully we can get some of the big bucks on here that we've seen in the past. Have any pictures? Well, headed to check my trail cameras today. There's only about two weeks left before the season opens, so I'll check the rest of my cameras. Checked the first camera already, and it just had thousands of pictures of cows, so I took that one off from where I had it. Figured there's only cows there. So I'll have to set that one up somewhere else. And hopefully we get some good stuff on these other cameras. My other two cameras are at least still here. There's that one. Oh. Um, I'll have to sit and go through. There was a bunch of videos on there. I didn't have time right now to go and look through all of them. So we'll go look through all those tonight. Looked through a few from the other camera, and it at least had a couple of small bucks on there. Also had a bunch of cows, but I think it'll be good. The only downside is I noticed about 20 yards up the trail from where I have this one, in between this and my other camera, someone else has a camera set up with a little salt lick. But it's to be expected. I think I saw a camera on this trail last year. But who knows? Anything can happen. Is this the kind of area you use to kill all six of your bears? Yeah, I use that the same head. That's the laser head I used for 15 years now.
Well, here we are again, headed out to do the Utah archery mule deer hunt 2019. A couple of things are a little different this year. One, driving a different truck. And this one has air conditioning, so that's huge. And it only has 180,000 miles instead of 280,000. The other big difference is this year, instead of shooting my compound, I'm going to try with a recurve. Using my dad's recurve. Um, I wanted to go with a recurve for a while, but I wanted to try to get a couple animals under my belt with the compound first. So, headed up right now to meet my dad and his buddy Decker. So, just driving up now, meet them. I'm the only one with the tag, but they're gonna come along, help me out, and just enjoy being out in the woods. So hopefully, hopefully we'll have some luck this year. We're gonna go to a spot where we know that there's gonna be bucks. And see how everything goes. Super excited though. So I know what you're thinking. You're saying, hey, that's a really cool looking hat. So I've been thinking about making some Brotherhood of the Bow hats. So I ordered this one to see kind of how it was before I ordered a bunch of them. Um, I wanted to go kind of with this old school camo pattern. I remember growing up, my dad had a hat that was almost exactly like this, with this old duck camo trucker hat. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to kind of make some like this. So what do you think? Is it something any of you would be interested in? It would look something probably like this. Um, I'm at least going to make a few of them for me and my dad. And so if there's other people that would be interested in it, I'd make more. I'll have to try to find the picture. I have a picture of me when I was maybe five or six out bow hunting with my dad. He's standing there by his bow, I'm standing there by my bow, about three feet taller than me. Um, pretty sure he's wearing a hat kind of like this. I'll try to find that picture. Well, I'm just pulling into town here, and I have one more stop to make before I meet up with my dad. I'm gonna stop by the gun room here in Evanston. Um, I'm gonna pick up a decal that my brother-in-law made for me that I'm gonna put on my truck. So I'm gonna stop by there real quick and grab that. He's a three by four. Checking out the trail camera videos. We actually got some on my new trail camera. Check out this guy. Boy, look how fat he is. I think that's the one we saw tonight. Need to watch that again. So that's a three by three, right? Yeah, he is. Look at his belly.
just hiking into my spot this morning and I just spotted my first few deer. So I'm gonna get the spotter up and see what they are. Oh boy, that's a nice four point. Boom. I'll just sit and watch him and see where he goes. So it's a little two point, a three point, and a four point. They're all just on the top of that little hill feeding. Oh, I'm still watching those same three bucks. It's about eight o'clock. They had fed into the trees by about seven. They'd just been feeding in the trees. Now they're just working their way down the hill through the trees. I haven't seen any other bucks. There's a doe and two fawns about 200 yards below me. And then another doe that I've spotted. But that's it. So I'm just gonna keep watching these bucks see where they end up. They'll probably end up bedding in the trees where I won't see them now. But maybe not. Well, still watching these bucks. They fed all the way down the hill that I was watching them on fed down, crossed over the bottom, and now they're <coughs> feeding up the other side. And they're probably going to go into this really big patch of quakies. I don't even know what I could have done. I never would have thought that they would have just walked right down to the bottom and up to this other side. I thought that they were just going to stay and feed in the trees that they first fed into and then bed down so I was just gonna wait and see if they did that to see if I wanted to try to go over to um, that little patch of quakies but now that they're going up this other side yeah just never thought they would have done that very hard to predict back at camp now for lunch I'm gonna try out my new solar charger. It's also, f I also got from Fox Ellie. Plug in two different things to it, so we'll try it out today. Get my phone recharged for the evening hunt. We're charging. I don't know if you know this, but about 90% of the stuff I film, I just use my phone. So it's good to have some USB solar chargers. Because all I use is my phone. This is what else we're doing around camp. You get close? <laughs> Hiking in for the evening hunt. Had a little bit of a lazier afternoon. We decided to make a bigger lunch. Had some burgers. We'll just kind of snack tonight when I'm done. Headed into the same spot I was this morning. Gonna try to see if I can locate those three bucks again. See what they're doing. 
maybe even see the bucks that we saw last night and uh, see how it goes. I drove Decker's motorcycle from camp to get here when he was asking if I'd ever ridden a motorcycle before. I'm just like, Pff. I've seen Ghost Rider with Nicolas Cage. I think I can handle it. We now have five different bucks that are in this same area. So I think the odds are pretty good that I'll see some of them tonight. It's a little after six o'clock right now. So there's still a couple hours of light. I don't think I introduced you guys to Decker. He's an old friend of my dad's and he makes some pretty sweet custom longbows. So I'll have to show you some of those too. My dad actually used one of those longbows last year and uh, killed an antelope with it. So I'll show you guys some of the bows that he's made. Oh. <clears throat> I've only been sitting here for like five or 10 minutes. I just found two of the bucks from this morning. Uh, the two point and the three point. They're clear down in the bottom. guessing since they fed down there this morning that they're going to be feeding up this evening but I'm just going to try to get closer but still keep um, where I can keep an eye on them to see if they're going to stay in the bottom and then come up or just shoot straight up the hill where they're at it's a little too windy to get a good steady video for you here okay <clears throat> here's the plan they're still down in the bottom just kind of feeding away from me. <clears throat> they didn't, last I saw, they didn't show any sign of going uphill. So, I just got to this good trail that'll take me all the way down to the bottom. So it'll be quick and quiet. So I'm just going to try to get down there as fast as I can. And just sneak along the bottom. See if they're still down there. Along the bottom. Still no sign of the four point, um, but it's evening, so I know my time and my light is very limited, so I'm just making a go at it. You can see how sweaty I already am, but hey, you gotta take what you can get, and this is where I'm seeing deer, so I'm gonna go for them. They're on the other side. to the cow. I'm still about 80 or 90 yards from him, but I've been sitting here for probably a half hour with a bush between me and them. They kept looking down. Um, they went back to feeding right now. I just want them to feed over the hill so I can leave and not spook them out. But they're just feeding right on the ridge. They just need to go a little bit farther and I can get out of here. Go back a few hundred yards and get my boots. Oh, so close.
finally had to just stand up and leave. And halfway up this hill, I need just my socks. So I've got to get back down to the trail so I can get to my boots. But man, I came so close. I was probably within less than 50 yards. But the problem was, we were up on this hill. They were feeding away from me. And so I could only see their antlers every once in a while. So I just kept creeping and getting closer and closer. Like I said, I bet I got within at least 50 yards, maybe less. But then I took one bad step. Either my foot or the bow kind of caught on the branch a little bit. It made some noise. And that's when I was right below the cow. So the cow looked down at me. That kind of caused the deer to look down for a second. Um, soon after the deer went back to feeding, but the cow was still just staring at me. So I tried to just sit there and wait for a minute. And then I decided to just move and not care about the cow. Ouch. And by that time when I saw the deer again, they were feeding, but they were too far ahead of me for me to really get very close again. But man, oh. It was cool. I thought for sure it was going to work out once I was down close. Because I was so close to those bucks. <laughs> You're not. same spot that I've been coming to only this time where I saw the three bucks yesterday morning there's now two hunters one of them is wearing orange but yeah they're right where the bucks were yesterday morning so we'll see if there's anything around if not might have to go try somewhere else <sighs> just found the bucks the same three from yesterday morning the two that I chased last night <coughs> big force with them. <clears throat> the only thing is they're about 300 yards down the hill from where those two hunters are. But there's no way those hunters are ever going to see where they're at. But I found them again. There's actually four of them today. I think the small two point from the first night we were here is the one on the top there. So update, the bucks do look like they're slowly feeding back down to the bottom where they fed yesterday. So I'm going to try to loop, clear around to get down to the bottom, hike that bottom over to them and hopefully get down there before they do for them to feed down to me. I just have to go a ways around so that they can't see me as I hike down there. And I'll just have to move slow on the bottom and hope that they can't see me down there either. Ready to stock again. The bucks are just right there. Yeah. 
yards in front of me, walking across that little opening. Busted. I was just coming down this trail slow. And I heard him up in those quakies above me. This is the same trail I came down last night. So they came down and across. I thought they were going to kind of go over that way and around. But they must have gone straight up into those quakies. I heard them kind of bouncing around up there. This is Decker. Seems to hit okay. Yeah. Seems to shoot real fast. This is a D.O. Adams uh, D-style longbow, kind of a Howard Hill type longbow. It's 66 inches and it's 54 pounds and it really flings an arrow with authority. It's kind of fun and I build these. So it's my latest, greatest uh, hobby that I'm uh, undertaking. Kind of pretty if you like green. <laughs> a little leather wrap on it. It shoots really well too. So. Well, all packed up, time to head out. We didn't film much really last night. We went up to the same spot where I've been going and we saw a couple does and fawns and that was it. We didn't see any of the bucks come out anywhere. So this morning we went and drove to a different area to glass. We saw six different moose and then just in that spot and then driving around we saw about a dozen does was all we saw so now we got to head back and wrap up this end of the hunt i don't know if i'll be able to have time to make it back up here or if the rest of my hunt is just going to be trying to hunt the extended that might be what ends up happening but other than that it's really fun saw those five different bucks and got so close but it just didn't happen this time that's how it goes brotherhood of the bow